Hello everyone, welcome back to some more thrift store finds. Let's take a look at what I found today. First up, this big bag of Disney Infinity. Includes the game and a bunch of the figures and tokens or whatever they're called uh, for about five bucks in a one big bag. So that was a really good find uh, for that. And then we have two Smurf glasses from the early 1980s in really good condition. One Harry Potter snow globe. He kind of looks odd, Harry. He looks like he has a huge head. In this one but that was a nice little bargain bin grab a few book finds this huge my my dad must have been speaking to me through the grave because this was his uh, celebrity crush his huge barbara streisand book that stuck out to me uh, a few other finds uh, dan abnett um, anything warhammer 40k usually like to pick up and especially in these big omnibus versions those are really really good and then some media finds we have a few sealed music dvds that are sitting there in the bargain bins we have celine dion and jessica simpson sealed copy of chariots of fire on vhs the simpsons season two and then an 18 movie collection the ultimate film noir collection darkest betrayal and that is a huge selection of film noir mostly 40s i think there's one or two 1950 1951 but almost entirely uh, 40s so that's a really cool collection there and uh, one that'll be for us we have with a slipcover the two movie sonic the hedgehog collection we have yet to see sonic 2 we didn't see it in theaters uh, and i was kind of waiting to find this edition once i knew it was out to have them just kind of both in one since we have sonic 1 so we'll sell our copy off and you know, it doesn't need to take up any extra uh, shelf space so that'll be fun look forward to watching that because we enjoyed the first one i think a lot more than we thought we would uh, amanda really liked it i think more than i did and then the last thing is a format first for the collection, a mini DVD of Gilligan's Island. And mini DVD is an oddball because for a short period of time there, in the early 2000s, there were a lot of miniature disc sized formats, all roughly the same size as a GameCube game disc. Let me open this up. And we have the little mini DVD inside and then an advert here. It has all kinds of releases. These are mostly early releases. Format wasn't around too long, but here's a few more up and coming ones. And what made this unique was that the majority of those mini formats, stuff like Video Now, and there was one that Nickelodeon did, and Disney, they had all these players. They were all fairly gimmicky. They were marketed pretty much exclusively towards kids, mostly younger kids. It was more of something that you have a little portable player on the go, sitting in the back of the car or whatever, keep your kid entertained. And the releases for that, it was mostly things like Nickelodeon and Disney and lots of other kid type formats. Yeah, like the video now, a majority of those, there are a few that weren't, but almost like 90% of those were geared towards the little kids. Um, even like the preteens was kind of the top. And the quality was horrible. I mean, the uh, video now is one I, I mentioned because I have one of those. Uh, the quality is worse than it's worse than Game Boy Advance video. I mean, it's really, really bad. And that's if you even have a color player because there were black and white ones. So those were all very poor quality, gimmicky, geared towards like little kids. Mini DVD uh, was better. It's actually DVD quality. It is full DVD quality on these little discs. The difference is that it it's doesn't contain a whole lot of memory, so releases like Gilligan's Island, it's two half-hour episodes, um, or uh, something like a movie, some of them might have been on two discs, a lot, most of them I think fit on one, but I think there were a few that were two, but overall, again, just didn't have, you know, a lot of space because the mini size discs, but it was more for everyone in the family. It, there were a lot of kids' releases, but if you look through some of them, there are some that weren't necessarily little kid things, more family-friendly stuff, movies like Beetlejuice, more for everyone, and even like Gilligan's Island. A few more, PG, there are a few like PG-13 movies that released on the format. It lasted a little bit longer than some of the others. Again, not very long, didn't take off. And so they're just regular DVDs. Uh, you could get a dedicated type player for these mini disc things, but you could play this in any DVD player as long as it has the tray that comes out. You're not putting this in your, your PS3 or your PS4 or anything like that, any of those uh, those kind of drives. It has to have the tray system, and it has to have that little recess in the middle. There were a lot of 
you know, the majority of DVD players when this came out would have been able to have that. As long as you have that little recessed area that you can fit these mini discs in, it will play in any DVD player. It's just a normal DVD, nothing super special, just mini size, so it doesn't contain as much data. But kind of a weird format, didn't last too long, but uh, it's cool to have a release from that. So it just includes, you know, two episodes of Gilligan's Island. Uh, interesting, there, again, there were a lot more full-length movies in those other formats. A lot of those other ones, again, they had even less quality and data capabilities. They were two or three ten-minute episodes of, or clips or things from like Invader Zim or something like that. It was nothing. This has some full movies. Uh, there's that Jack Kangaroo, Black Beauty, Dennis the Menace, Justice League, some Mary-Kate and Ashley, Free Willy 2, Scooby-Doo 2. So a lot of full movies. And a lot of them is Batman the Animated Series, the Flintstones, Teen Titans, a bunch of those cartoon ones would have a handful of episodes rather than just one or some clips like some of the other formats. So this was definitely the best quality wise, but again, as soon as things like streaming came about or smartphones, I mean, they, it made these completely just irrelevant. And even when they came out, there really was no benefit to having this versus just a regular DVD copy unless you were specifically using it portably. So it was one of those of just the, the market for it was so small, but this is pretty, pretty cool to find. And that was it for this morning, and look out for another pickups video because I had a big haul of something a little more fascinating than I'm going to look at.